our research, which is a collaborative effort between UTMB and Duke University, we found that a person carrying variants in two particular genes could be almost three times more likely to develop multiple sclerosis. One of these variants is in a gene previously associated with multiple sclerosis, while the second variant is in a gene that has not been previously connected with MS until now. Multiple sclerosis is a disease where the body's own immune system attacks nerve cells in the spinal cord and the brain, and this is a major cause of neurological disease in younger adults. Unfortunately, there is no cure for MS. The problem with multiple sclerosis is that usually people are diagnosed only after presentation of the symptoms. And at this time, damage has already occurred to the brain, and this damage cannot be reversed with current treatments. So the earlier we can catch multiple sclerosis and start treatment, the better the outcome will be for these patients. So we hope that this new information that we uncover in this study could someday lead to tests for earlier diagnosis of multiple sclerosis, but also to uncover new therapeutics to fight the disease and perhaps other autoimmune diseases. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.